Hello, I'm Roberta. I'm the host of What's Cooking with Roberta. This is Roberta, and today we're going to be making Cherry Crisp, which is also a family favorite. I've, I've had this recipe in my family for maybe 60 years, and my children use it for their families, and everybody in the family loves it. We begin with, you need one cup of flour, Make sure you level off your flour so that it is exactly one cup into the bowl. One cup of brown sugar. Remember your brown sugar you pack down. You don't use it loose. I always keep my brown sugar in a metal canister so that it will not get hard. Uh, I do have, and I clip the top open where I have cut just a little opening in the top of the bag. I have a paper clip that I just clip on the top and keep it in the canister. Okay, one cup of brown sugar. And you mix that up with a fork. And the next ingredient is going to be a half a cup of butter, which is a one full quarter of butter. And you need to take it out of the refrigerator. After I have dumped the butter into the flour and sugar mixture, I take the paper and with all the liquid on this butter paper, I grease my pan. I'm using a six and a half inch by eight pan dish, Pyrex dish one of my many that I use for smaller amounts of food because then it makes it thicker. I started to say earlier you do not melt the butter you let it room, uh, warm up to room temperature because melted butter makes the the crust a different consistency and it isn't nearly as good. Uh, this way that, uh, with melted butter your crust would be more runny. Okay, after you get that all mixed up, after I put in the butter and mix it all up and then the oatmeal, it's very crumbly. And you take half of that and put it into the bottom of the pan. And you pat it down with a fork. getting into all the corners. And you take a can of cherry pie filling. It's the kind that has the sauce in with it and the pitted cherries. And you pour that on top. And spread that all around. There again, whatever kind your local grocery store has. Evenly distributing the cherries on top of the oatmeal and butter and then you take the rest of the oatmeal and butter and sprinkle it around on top. You do not pat it down. Making sure that all the cherries are covered up so you don't see the red.
you can see how thick that is. It makes a really great uh, dish then when you scoop it out. This is really good just out of the oven so that you can take uh, chew it without burning your tongue. It's good cold. I leave it on the countertop many times for a day and a half It'll la if it will last that long. If I get tired of eating cherry crisp three days in a row, I will take the plastic containers that you buy sliced cold meat in at the grocery store. They make wonderful storage for the, for the freezer. And three of these will stack on top of each other just really great on the bottom, underneath the bottom shelf in my freezer. So you put a, what's ever in there and have that at a later time and just warm it up in the microwave. This goes into the oven, 350. For 40 to 45 minutes. And because I have something else in the oven using my oven timer, I will use my taste, my handy little Iowa corn timer, which is, I am from Iowa, and that will be delicious when it comes out of the oven. Okay. It says that the apple, or the cherry crisp is done. Oh, see that? Mm, that looks delicious. I'll let it set for a little bit before we dig into it.